I, I actually really like the city. Uh, it's very, very nice looking. Also, the, the way the company is, they picked me up. They were very friendly, very nice. That really, really made me feel at home. Um, no, the, yeah, they exceeded my expectations. They were very um, accommodating. They explained everything to me before I came. Um, every time there was something that needed to be done, they called me, they sent me a text message, and they were very helpful. Uh, the hotel is a very, very, very nice hotel. As you guys said, you advertise it's five stars. Um, I definitely agree with that. The food is very good. Um, the scenery is nice, it's right by the water, so there's a lot of places you could walk. There's a mall not too far from here, so it's nice. Um, actually, through one of my close friends, he, he, uh, he's the one, I used to talk to him about my hair situation. He brought up the hair instant bowl. He used to look you up on YouTube and on Instagram, and uh, he, for like the last year and a half. Uh, during the pr procedure, I was a little nervous. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of needles. <laughs> like most of the people. Yeah. <laughs> but um, they explained everything to me. They were very nice. Um, the people were very, very professional, very clean. So I felt, I felt very comfortable and they explained everything. If I needed some time, they gave me time. The food was good. And they were very, like I said, very, very accommodating. Yeah, I would say, you know, I know people may look at the trip, oh, I have to travel all the way to Turkey, but it's actually really worth it. The pricing is good, the accommodation is good, uh, the follow-ups are good as well. So I would recommend to Hair of Instinville to anyone that's looking for a transplant, especially African-American like me. Uh, concerning the procedure um, that they did, um, one, I guess they said he's the, the owner, comes in, Mr. Fatih Demir, he came, comes in, very nice, professional, tall guy. Um, he comes in and draws, takes a look at you, like almost like you're a model. You know, he's taking a look at what you're gonna wear, what he's gonna put on you. And um, he, made, he drew the line, he asked me if I was comfortable with what he did. Now he said that was the best that was actually what would make it look natural, but they could have done more if I wanted them to. But I wanted it to be a natural look, and uh, I went, I trusted what he did, and I went along with it. Um, concerning the grafts, I was told that they did 4,500 grafts um, to take care of the portion from the front to the back mm -hmm. of my head. So yeah, um, I recommend to anyone that wants to come, especially Black American, African American, um, it's very important. What I did was, which, what I was told to do, I grew my hair for about three months um, to allow it to grow. The purpose of growing the hair is because they need your donor hair to be as uh, strong as possible for them to see it, and that's if it's grown out. So once you do that, plus you should follow the videos, they tell you, grow it out, also take care of it, treat it very well, and also you should follow up with them. So I send videos in every, as my progress of growing the hair so that they can tell me what procedure they're able to do because I wanted to do a few things. So based on the type of hair I had and the amount, they now told me they can cover this part, they can do this part if, they, if I wanted it. So you have to make sure that you follow the procedures you can communicate with them prior to coming and um, they'll let you know what to expect based off of what they see.